So behind me, we have the overlanding concept vehicle. This is actually built by Kurt Williams, member of our community and longtime Toyota builder. So it has Old Man Emu front and rear suspension, BP51s, it's a mule, rear rack, Yakima roof tent, max tracks on the top, ARB base rack as well. We've got rock sliders, icon wheels, looks like a really nicely set up Tacoma and a nice feature here at SEMA. So on the front, we can see traditional ARB bull bar. We've got a worn winch, ARB Solus lights as well. The full length rock sliders with tread plate, which really improves access to the roof rack. The ARB base rack looks great with this really thin light bar. Fits really tight and flush against the roof line. This mule rack is an interesting solution. Lots of lashing points as well. And then we've got the Yakima roof tent up top. Okay, you bet. And of course, the vehicle that all of us overlanders love is this Tacozilla right here. I mean, this is based on the classic Chinook Toyota pickup truck camper and it looks great. It's actually not made out of a composite. It's not made out of fiberglass. This is aluminum that's been bent and shaped to look just like fiberglass. Really, really cool truck. Certainly testing the limits of payload on the Tacoma, but beautifully done concept. So on the front here, we've got a hidden winch mount. We've also got a worn winch just behind the grill. Rated recovery points as well. And of course, we've got the Tacozilla graphic here, which is great. You can see the full width light bar, the sleeping area up top, and it even has a TRD snorkel on it as well, but it actually had to be shortened in order to fit with this overhead sleeping area. So this is all TRD Pro suspension, TRD wheels, general grabbers. You can see the TRD Pro upper control arms. Just got a full length rock slider here. This is the water inlet, and then this is the exhaust here in the back. The rear sits down a little bit. In fact, you can see that the springs are negatively arched. It could really use an add a leaf, I think, to level it off. This is the hot water heater. So this is the factory fuel fill behind this lockable door here. And it's based upon an access cab. So it does give a much longer bed for the fitment of this camper. So let's take a look at the inside of this Tacozilla. It's got a bathroom compartment. It's got a, a nice dinette with a table, not shown currently in this video. It's also got a full galley with a sink and a stove. It's got a beautiful skylight on the top too that you'd be able to see the stars. So really roomy space overall, clean design, super fun camper. And here we've got the 2022 TRD Pro Tundra behind us. This is the Desert Chase Edition. It's four inches wider overall. You can see the aspect on there. These are composite fenders, front and rear, 37 inch tires. We've got long travel suspension, all the tube work. It's really designed to function properly in the desert. It's got dual spares in the back, traction boards. It's got a flip up light kit on the top. Really interesting to see what they're starting to do with these Tundra, showcasing the capability of this platform. These fenders are absolutely impressive. In fact, they are all carbon, and then they've been painted white to match, and actually taped off and left the naked carbon here to look like the fender flares. Really impressive work. And of course, we've got a 37 inch tall tire which just looks just right on a full-size Tundra. You can see that this is just an imposing vehicle in person on the 37s with the additional lift. They're able to take full advantage of that five-link rear suspension to gain 
not only total wheel travel, but also a lot better performance on the dirt because you don't end up with axle wrap. And then you can see in the bed here, two full-size spares, got an off-road ready jack. You got some additional fuel, you got a flip-up light pack. Also got some traction boards as well down the side. So here we are at SEMA 2021 and we've got the TRD booth and they've got some really interesting vehicles this year. They've got a TRD Sport. This is a trailer that they've built, an uh, overland trailer that's got a roof tent up top. It's got an awning, couple awnings here. Full drawer system in the bed, pull out kitchen. Pretty clever way to add some additional capacity and payload to a Tacoma. See there's a lot packed into this nose box. We've got a generator, we've got hot water for showering, a small rack for additional supplies, Dometic fridge on a slide out, big CFX there. Then you can see this scissor lifting mechanism that raises the roof tent up and give access for additional sleeping surface or storage underneath. 